Peace, love, and light to you all. You already know who it is. It's your girl, Terry Janae. Back at it with another video. Come on into the room, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. The water is definitely fine. Let's talk about it. Happy new decade. Peace, everybody. Come on in. Let's talk about it. Peace, Darius. Peace, Melanin Queen. Peace, Akashi. Peace, Paraphrase. All right. So, I'm going to be completely authentic here. Speaking into existence, truth, light, and experience. All right. Oh, God. As you guys can see, there's something different here. I cut my hair, but, you know, I left one. This is called the wisdom lock. I left one baby here. Oh, and it's, oh my God, it's so sensitive. Oh, yeah, I did. I, I really did cut my locks. And for the longest time after, I'm still trying to take off these nails. For the longest time, you know, people has been asking me, what happened to your hair after I started wearing wigs? Like, what happened to your hair? Where is it? Where uh, Did you comb out your locks? It's so beautiful. I'm just like, no, I didn't. But I feel like that was like the universe really subconsciously telling me like, yo, it's about that time for a change. So, um, come on in, take a seat. Let's be vulnerable here. Let's uh, get to the real niggity gritty of what's going on. And um, I'm still looking at myself. So I just got off the phone with my sis and she, you know, she de definitely came on and gave me more confidence and inspiration. So. I've been going through a lot, y'all. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, I had to cut my hair to practice the law of detachment. I cut my hair because I was so attached to how people felt about me, so attached to certain things, and doing certain things kind of is like, you know. We're in a holographic universe, everything's a reflection, so how you do one thing is how you do the next. So, I cut my hair to show myself I can detach from what no longer serves me or what's not good for me. You know, um, my hair was very symbolic for that. I um, I was really dissatisfied with how things came about. And excuse me if I get emotional during this story. With my hair, um, I felt very ugly. Um, and at times I would look at myself and I feel real beautiful. And I sometimes I would look at myself and I'm like, oh, I can't stand to look at this. And um, ultimately, as I was cutting my hair, like I explained, it really didn't matter how what I what I did on the outside. It really just really truly matter how I felt on myself on the inside. What was my insecurity, my doubt? What was really going on with me to make me feel certain ways? I was going through a lot of negativity. I was um, healing, healing, and uh, it was very hard for me. I felt like my, my locks held a whole lot of energy, and I really had to let that shit go, <laughs> literally let it go. Um, I felt like there was a hold on me, as if I can spiritually feel somebody pulling me, and... Um, and it wasn't an entity that I liked. It was very, um, it was very negative, demonic, if I can even say. I've um, started my journey with my hair, and um, I've experienced a whole lot of, whole lot of trauma, especially dealing with relationships. And you know, a lot of, a lot of us know that our, we, energy never dies; it's just transferred. You know, and. 
I um I felt like I was holding a lot of that energy in my locks. I was holding a lot of that energy within myself. And um I had to show myself I can let go of things. I can let go. I can detach from false expectations, um, negative things that no longer serve me, things I just feel like I just need to do. And um, yeah, after I did it, you know, it was this phase of, of, oh my God, what did I just do? Oh my God. I even thought about retaching. I'm like, no. And as soon as I thought about that, that shit left. I was like, oh, why would I even know? I would not even retach. I don't understand why people retach their locks, to be honest with you. It's like, me wouldn't, like, a tree doesn't sit here and be like, oh, my leaves. Oh, come back. Oh, and put the leaves back on their head. You know what I'm saying? We understand that we have seasons, and this was just my fall and my, my winter. Uh, someone, a friend of mine, told me the other day, like, it really was so proud, profound to me. I, I, it really, like, clicked with me. He was like, literally, he really didn't feel like the new year started around this time. He thinks that the, and we all know that the new year is really in March. Okay. And um, he said, like, he really felt like the earth right now is detoxing. And I was just like, yo, like that hit me because I really feel like I'm, we are nature and I'm connected to the, we're all connected to earth. Yeah, of course. But it's just like, why not change with the seasons? You know, why not be in alignment with the universe, with the earth? So around this time, especially starting today, I am, I'm detoxing, I'm cleansing, I am, um, Put in that work, that internal work, and I everything happened in such a flow. Like, literally, I I was feeling depressed, man. I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling real depressed. I was feeling real low, depressed, attached to certain outcomes that I had no control of. Thought I did. Had false expectations. Really holding on to something that didn't want to hold on to me. And that day, I got out of bed. My sister called me up. I cried with her. I asked the Most High because I'm literally doing my best to stay connected to the Most High throughout my whole journey right now. Most High, like, what should I do? What can I do? How do I, How can I feel better? Literally, Most High said, "Go outside. Go take a walk. Go run." And we had to get over those actions that tried to, when we get that divine idea, we had to get over that, oh, I'm too lazy, or oh, I don't want to do it right now. All we have is now. Show up for our healing, right? So I got up, went outside, took a jog. Yes, Grandma? Um, what's the tools in the to make sure um, it's not running too much? Okay. 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 Thank you, Grandma. I appreciate you. I'm just drinking, drinking today. Drinking water and smoothies. Um, I'm gonna do my best. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. There's no, there's no. Like, and that's what uh, another thing I'm going to talk about. I'm going to get into that in a, a second. Like, literally doing what's best for me. And, okay, when those second thoughts come, be like, nah, I can do this. Like, I can, I'm can. i an action taker. I can literally do it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm bold. So, literally, I went outside and uh, ran, went on a walk, went into the forest, saw a forest, went into it, meditated with it, spoke, spoke to the Most High, spoke to the Orishas. Uh, Yemeja, um, Oshun, and Oya, like literally, they, they, they live within us. So, yes, you go to certain places to connect with them, but literally I felt connected with them in that forest. And uh, I meditated in the forest, took my shoes off, got grounded, really was showing up for my healing. 
did not give a good a crap how cold it was. It wasn't even that cold. Like, literally was uh, getting back into nature because I was off for a while. I was off alignment for a while when it, when it comes down to going into nature and stuff. And um, I felt I carried that guilt within myself subconsciously, you know, um, knowing that it was best for me and I, you know, ignored it. And um, as I uh, left the forest and I went to the lake, I got so excited to be around a body of water. You may, you have no, you have no idea how excited I was to be around a body of water. Like I just, it was so beautiful how the sun projected itself into the water, and I saw the lights, the sparkles, and I just spoke to my Most High, the Most High. And um, literally, the idea, move. I'm moving to Costa Rica. See, I was literally talking about Costa Rica yesterday. This is alignment. So, um, and then the thought of cutting my hair, being like this, came into my vision. Like, literally, I've been following visions. Visions. And I was just like, really? What? What could I do? Should I do that? And then I would get some gut feelings about it. I would feel like, no, maybe I shouldn't. But literally, as I saw my shadow... And I look at my hair in my shadows or in my in my reflection. I didn't even one three returning home. Thir- one three is my my number is thirteen. Three, oh my god, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, five five nine nine. Literally, as I see that five five nine nine. Uh, new beginnings. Uh, actually, change. That's change. Coupled with the ending of new cycles and going into the new. Ashe, I'm thankful for the message. Um, but as I literally was, um, looking at myself in the reflection, to be honest with you, I haven't been feeling myself lately. I would get scared around people or paranoid around people, especially when I get high and, and I don't even get high. I don't smoke like that at all. But when I do, I'm shown stuff and I really feel like it was time for a detox, really time to let go of um, certain entities or people that portray certain characteristics that show certain entities or just within myself, you know, let go of certain toxic habits. And um, that wasn't serving my body or my, my spirit justice. Literally, I felt like it was just, I, I, I was, I was even scared to look at myself. We took a shroom sh- a shroom journey with my tribe. I took a shroom journey with my tribe. And one of the things I thought about was cutting my hair. Literally, I felt like I had to cut a strand of my hair off that was attached to the seashell. Because in Thailand, I went through a lot. I was When I was dealing with a low vibrational man out there, not, not meek, okay, before anybody even think about that. Not, it wasn't meek, it was somebody before. I was living with in Thailand that no one really knows about and he was very low vibrational um, and while I was with him I was always afraid I was always paranoid but I couldn't let go of him because I was scared to be by myself and I would see negative entities dealing with him and it was to the point where they were all up in my face now not just spiritually like moving shit around or like you know, hearing screams and, you know, noises and stuff is literally to the point where I was seeing it manifested in my face. And that shit scared me when I looked at myself in the mirror and I see my hair. Because that was around the time I was growing my hair too and I was messing around with them and him. And I really had to like, I really, I felt like if I cut my hair, I won't see it anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't see it in my hair. I wouldn't see. I wouldn't feel like I'm being pulled by my hair. I wouldn't do any of that. I'm literally re- detaching, and it, it's not just the hair. It's not just the hair. It's a whole body, mind, and spirit detox. Like literally, what the divine has given me, the divine ideas I've given me. I'm going through a spiritual 
body, mind, body, spirit cleanse right now. And this was just the beginning. This was just to solidify that I'm going into this. You know what I'm saying? More water, hydration. Literally, I feel something in my stomach spiritually. And that shit needs to go. And it needs to be released. So, literally take into consideration cutting out certain things, getting really cutthroat about it, and really releasing, like literally detoxing, decluttering. And I'm going to be drinking a whole lot of water, a whole lot of juices. I even thought about... Could I? I'm, I don't want to... I'm much of a hush-hush type of person about what I'm doing, but... You know, whenever it's whenever it's the time to say it, I'll say it. Why why not say it now? Why not say it now? Because <laughs> I just wanna just do this on my own right now. I deserve it. I deserve to move forward in my progress. I deserve to let go of what needs to let go and what's not really serving me is holding on to things that we don't give a shit. <laughs> we look people that don't give a shit. You know, holding on to attachments. How long will we up, will we procrastinate on our growth, holding on to attachments of the past? How long will we do that? So, yes, I did keep one lock, and I and I, oh, it feels so sensitive. Oh my god! As I pull it, I hear a ring in my ear. Oh my god! Yo, shit. Ooh, I feel, oh, I gave goosebumps. Oh, God. Now, this is sensitive. I don't want nobody touching my shit. You hear me? Nobody touching my crown. Yes, my crown may be cut off, but you know what? I have a new one. I have a, I'm making my own. I made my own crown. And nobody can touch it unless I say so. You feels? That's how I feel right now. And this is called my wisdom lock because we all know like we learn from our past. So this is gonna, this is this is uh, the intention in this lock is wisdom, knowledge and power. And it holds a lot of power right now, literally. I feel like it's a tail. I've always wanted one of these things. I forgot what it is, but what it's called, but a lot of tribes have it. I feel like it's in my DNA, like I've had it before. Oh golly. But you know what? Um, that's that's basically why you know I cut my hair, I cut my locks, and I did a ten day water fast last month. Color plans new chapter. Ooh, that's that's beautiful. That is wonderful. That that's inspiring. Literally, I um asked the Most High this rising like, what do I really want? And out of nowhere, you know, I'm looking at my phone and. I'm seeing people comment on my post, and they're like, you're such an inspiration, uh, you're inspiring, and then I see um, an email that says, looking for inspiration, and I was like, I want to be an inspiration. That's what I ultimately want to be, and I feel that in my soul because I'm about to cry. I want to be an inspiration, inspiring people, and the quote that came to my mind is, looking for inspiration be the inspiration what am i looking outside of myself for why it makes no sense so i inspired myself to take a leap now do i regret it no have i uh, in the process uh maybe a bit but after i got over it i was like i'm just gonna have to deal with it now i'm growing new you know what i'm saying and this is my process, my growth, so no one else's. So I'm going to have to love myself throughout the whole process, the whole journey, and keep loving myself, even though sometimes may, some may, times may come in where I might want to not. And I notice after I cut my locks, I've been very action-oriented, and, you know, I speak, I speak my mind. I, I literally... I feel like, you know, I'm learning lessons to, you know, move forward without hesitation. And that's a, that's a whole lot of Oya. Uh, Oya has been, like, coming 
to me heavenly like literally telling like i've been feeling to to work with oya lately and even the fact that i had red on yesterday i have still have red on now a little little burgundy thought about purple Literally, someone had asked me the other day, what's your favorite color? And I said purple. And I'm like, no, it's not. My, per my favorite color is not purple. As you can see, my favorite color is what? Blue. But I, I don't know. Out of nowhere, I said purple. I'm just like, that made me question, I'm, am I being myself right now? But I feel like I'm, I'm, being, I'm opening up to a whole other realm of my life. And yeah, this is the part, like, I feel like something's here. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean, because this is, this is some deep shit. Right. Yeah. So. But yeah, I've been feeling like Oya has been coming strong, and like I've been practicing. I I've been contact with Yemeya. I've I've been contact with Oshun, but I've I definitely was. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say neglecting like reaching out to Oya because I I was afraid, you know. But anyway, let me show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see that that's a scar literally I feel something in this area of my stomach and when I I didn't even notice that I had a scar there so it's just like symbolic to what's really going on and literally a detox is intimate a detox is adamant like now <laughs> clearing out the shit in your stomachs, in our stomachs. Is that a W? I don't know. No, it's not a W. It's just two little, it looks like scratch marks, literally. And I feel like it came from my waist trainer that I'd be wearing, but I'm like, why is it a baby? I wish. <laughs> like, with who? Who? You know what I'm saying? Like, Divine Masculine have not came in through it, but he's gonna come in whenever I get my shit together. And that's that's perfectly fine, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm okay with it now. Now I feel like I'm much okay with it. I was I'm not gonna lie. I was crying over like a person. I was crying over, you know, being lonely. I'm thinking like I should be with somebody right now. Somebody I actually want to be with, not somebody like, you know, um, that you know just come in and I I'm I'm just a bit satisfied with. No, like someone I'm actually like in love solely with and i'm just like so the universe presented me with people but i just wasn't emotionally available to them because i was holding on to the past so it's just like mm -mm. like uh right now especially after my i've done this i feel like i'm solely i'm okay with working on myself until you know and that's a sign i see a feather in the air that's an angel sign i'm okay with working on myself until my divine masculine comes in and knows that he's working he's with a goddess and i'm willing to evolve with each other you know what i'm saying i ain't i ain't um gonna be crying over nobody no more i ain't gonna be stressing about nobody no more because it it, it led to a whole lot of negative energy and emotions within myself and i had nobody else to blame but me you know what i'm saying having false expectations and hold on to shit like i could not i i, I couldn't do it i could not and I would not, I will not hold on to stress. I will not hold on to stress. So, yeah. <laughs> All that from the baby thing. I guess I was triggered, huh? Because <laughs> I really want a child. But I do have a child. You know what I'm saying? I'm spiritual and my, my sister got a baby. So that's basically my child too, in a way. <laughs> Okay, so um, that's basically why I cut my hair. Let's like all um, learn our lessons when it comes down to detachment. Um, how I feel right now. I feel good. I feel beautiful. I love myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to continue to say I love myself because that's all what it is. I'm working on self-love right now. I can't accept. I can't expect somebody to love me fully if I don't love myself fully you know what I'm saying and that's a really why I've been learning through this whole journey and what happened yesterday like literally self-love I showed up for my healing by going up 
going outside and running and jogging. I haven't done that in a while. I haven't gone into nature in a while. Like, literally, I showed up for my healing and my progress. And I'm following through with certain detox procedures. And um, I'm not hesitating. I'm, oh, I'm going to say, I'm going to speak out to the universe. I'm not going to hesitate. But I'm going to do my best to continuously move forward in this loving journey. And I pray that everybody does enjoy themselves and find and seek out their inner peace so they can know that it's always been in them. Peace has always been inside of you. And I love you. Peace, love, and light to you. Is there anything else I want to say? It might be, yeah. Oh, I feel like I'm drowning. I've been really highly sensitive especially around this time but you know now like I, I'm I feel even more sensitive and my clear audience is booming right now um I was I was able I was so scared though and that's why I'll be feeling like sometimes I want a divine masculine or counterpart to help me in my missions because I was afraid to like even contact somebody and this is why I've been saying, like, I feel like Oya has been coming through more. It's because the energy of Oya is because, you know, she will, she talks, she lies in the realm of, you know, the dead, you know. And um, peop- i just been feeling like, even the other day, like, I was able to make contact with somebody who was, you know, past. You know, like, that's an angel sign. Um, literally, it was on the balcony, and they had died and they were their spirit was stuck there and I felt like I could have helped them by talking to them but I was so scared I couldn't believe I could believe that that's what I was going through I could believe that that's what was happening in that moment in time you know like oh my god like somebody's out there who's not in the physical I can feel them I see them I hear them and they're out there waiting for someone to talk to them but all I had to do was sit in a chair and channel. And I was fucking scared. Like, I can I can feel my heart. I was scared of shit because I was like, first of all, I don't like, you know, sitting or on old shit. Like, I, I'm very sensitive. Like, I really just, I don't want to sit on somebody's stuff and feel energy from it. Like, <laughs> secondly, I was like, I'm not going to make contact with a ghost in this scary place. And I'm just like, uh uh-uh. uh, like I was seeing a whole lot of stuff in that place. I was that the person that the, the spirit was in. I was seeing demonic things, like literally things in the closet. Like it was scary. And now you want me to contact another I was like, uh uh-uh. uh. But I really need to I really need to channel Oya's energy because it's like she deals in a realm with or what in that realm and she um she's in a set she likes cemeteries and skulls and stuff. She's the real life witch thing like I'm just like whoa it's a lot of energy but I'm not I'm not gonna be afraid of it I'm moving forward I'm gonna you know take my time and grace them this on this journey this process and I'm just being vulnerable with you guys as I'm um growing and evolving so I gotta go I gotta pee that's why I cut my hair practicing detachment and I pray that I can inspire someone to Detach and release what they need to release and detox. All right. I love you guys. I gotta go pee. Peace, love, and light.